Hey, what's going on guys? Zace here, and today I welcome you all back to another awesome episode of the Pokemon Alpha Sapphire Let's Play series on my channel. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this Let's Play series so far. If you are, be sure to punch that like button in the face for me, as well as answer the comment question of the day, which is what are you guys looking forward to the most in Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Me personally, I'm looking forward to the post game once we beat once we beat the Elite Four. Excuse me. Um, I'm looking forward to catching all of the amazing legendary Pokemons in this game. There's just so many of them, as well as some of the new Mega Evolutions. I'm also looking forward to those in this game as well. So, uh, yeah, that's my answer to the question. Let me know your thoughts as well as uh, answers to the co question of the day down in the comment section below. Without further ado, we're going to go ahead and continue on where we left off in the previous episode, which is selecting our starter Pokemon. So we're actually going to choose the water type Pokemon Mudkip. We are going to do it. Just kidding. Psych. 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 We're going with my boy Trico. Oh my goodness, guys, I've been wanting to use Trico for the longest time in the Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire Let's Play. Like, it is... Uh, Trico is my favorite starter of this region, and not to mention, Trico's Mega Evolution is Mega Sceptile, which is Grass and Dragon. Grass and Dragon. So that is what we're going to be using. I'm going to go and start this off, and oh my goodness, he has a powerful absorb right off the bat. Let's just go ahead and use that, and let's see how much damage this does. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Puchuyuna used his tackle. Knocks off 3 HP. Not, not that much, not that much, but because we have absorb, we'll probably be able to gain back uh, all of the HP, actually, I believe, or two, maybe, two, three. Yeah, just 2 HP. Not bad. We did gain back some HP. So, uh, yeah, we're going to continue doing this. I'm going to smack that Puchuyina with a pound just to see how much damage that pound does. Oh, wow. That actually did a lot more. Oh, that's because it was a crit. So, it basically does the same amount of damage as uh, Absorb does. So, uh, that is really, really, really good. I like it. I like it. Fair off. I went into tall grass to survey wild Pokemon while I know when I was suddenly jumped. You saved my hide. Thanks a lot. Why, you're welcome, Professor Birchman. Oh, but you're Norman's boy, Ace. I didn't even realize who you were at first. You've grown into quite the young man. This isn't the place for a chat, though. Come along to my lab. Alright, but, uh, yo, what happened to the Pokemon that you were trying to catch, dude? You said you were, uh, or, well, your daughter said that you were out catching wild Pokemon for research and stuff, so what happened to that, yo? What's going on, man? Professor Birch, dog? What's hip, man? I should probably stop. <laughs> so, Ace, I've heard so much about you from your father. But he said that you don't have your own Pokemon yet. If that's true, that was quite the performance back there. Looks like you really are your father's son. Oh yes, to say thanks for rescuing me out there, how about I give that Pokemon you used earlier, or give you that Pokemon you used earlier? You know what? That would be much appreciated, man, because I have a feeling that Trico, Trico likes me. Trico's my man. He is my man. While you're at it, why not give a nickname to that Trico? Alright, so we're going to be nicknaming Trico Gecko because of the fact that I am uh, not creative by any means. So we're just going to go, go with uh, Gecko. And I think Gecko is a pretty cool name for Trico as well. Mainly because it, <laughs> it is based off of uh, Gecko. So, uh, you know what? Why not? I think that's how you spell, right? Just one E? Yeah, that seems, that seems about right. Alright, G-E-C-K-O. Gecko the Trico. Not bad, not bad at all. I could have come up with, you know, a better name, but just for the sake of, uh, you know, making this uh, Let's Play series move along, quite nicely, we're just going to go with that. You know, if you work with your Pokemon and gain experience, I think you'll make a pretty excellent trainer. My girl, May, happens to be on Route 103 right now, surveying Pokemon for me. It might not be a bad idea for you to head out that way yourself. What do you think? Oh, uh, yeah, sure, man. Why not? Now that I've got my own Pokemon, I'm out on my own adventure, so I'm gonna do it, yo. Great. I'm sure May will be happy to hear that, too. She can help teach you what it means to be a trainer. Oh, yes. And if you've ever lost along the way, use the area nav on your Pokenav Plus. 
You can use it to see how to get to Route 103, where me ought to be. And if you or your Pokemon get tired, get some rest back at your new house. Alright, thanks for the lovely advice, Professor Birch. Greatly appreciated, man. So it seems like we have to hit up May at Route 103. Ooh, it's gonna be a day, then. I have a feeling that she has uh, the hots for us. So this is Route 101, and oh my goodness, it looks absolutely amazing. Route 101, and uh, that way is uh, the way to Old Dale Town. I believe we might actually be able to uh, battle a few trainers as well. And uh, ooh, a worm pull. I'm not going to catch this thing because I can't catch this thing because we have no Pokeballs. And you know what? It's, it's too weak to actually gain much XP from it. Well, I mean, it's level 3. I mean, we, 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 we would gain a few. Um, okay, okay. We would have gained some XP, but I have a feeling this guy wants a battle, doesn't he? Oh, no, never mind. He actually doesn't want a battle. All right, he's just telling us about the Pokemon Center. And here we are, Old Ale Town. We don't really need to heal. Uh, what's this guy over here? Hi there, I work at the Pokemart. From what I can see, you're a novice trainer, am I right? Okay, being super kind-hearted as I am, I'm going to give you useful advice. Alright, let's just uh, listen to this dude, and I love the music. I love the music of this game. First of all, that's a Pokemart there. Just look, at, just look for our blue roof. We sell a variety of goods, including Pokeballs for catching Pokemon. Alright, I'd like you to have these as a part of our special promotion. Oh, he's hooking us up with some drugs, yo. Potions, not bad, not bad at all. Alright, so we put them in the medicine pocket. Potions can be used anytime, so they can be very useful to have. Alright, thank you for the information, kind sir. And this is a Pokemon Center. Look for a red roof. Ask a woman inside, and she'll restore your Pokemon's health. That's it. That was the advice from me, the supremely kind-hearted clerk. Hashtag Gamergate, he said... Ask a woman inside, what? So men cannot be nurses? Oh my gosh, meninist. Anyway, have a great journey. Alright. <laughs> I have no clue what I what I was doing there. So, that's a Pokemon Center, but uh, our Pokemon's uh, Gecko's at full health, right? Yeah, because I believe Professor Birch actually healed him up. So, uh, or actually, no, we didn't we have... We used Absorb, didn't we? So, uh, yeah. I believe we have to go uh, up forward, up over here to Route 103. Is this Route 103? Gosh, I can't remember. Yeah, so this is Route 103, so May should be somewhere around here. Is that her? That seems to be her. And I love this 3D view. I guess we have to talk to her. Hi there, May. How's it going? I love how it just changed the angle just a bit. Alright. Let's see. On Route 103, I found this Pokemon, and this one, and this one too. Oh, hey Ace. What's that? Oh, my dad gave you a Pokemon as a gift, huh? Well then... Why don't we go ahead and have a quick battle? I'll give you a taste of what being a trainer is really like. Oh, oh, that is so cute how she just like fist bumps the air. Oh my gosh. May is too cute. Alright, anyway, she's gonna send out a torch chick. Alright, she does have the full oh, crud. Wait, wait, wait. It's because <laughs> now this is something now this is interesting. Because we have absorb and we're only level five, does that mean Torque Chick has uh Ember? I hope not. We're just gonna go for pound. Hopefully Torchic does not have Ember because it would be embarrassing to lose the first battle. My first trainer battle. Alright, you know what? I think it'd be I think it'd be a safe call to use Leer here. Just to lower the defense of Torchic a bit. And then what we can do is uh go for another pound and that should do a bit more damage. Alright, so you know what? We should be able to survive a crit from Torque Chick, so I'm just gonna go for another pound, and then I'll just potion up Gecko yet again. Yeah, um, you know what, we could survive another one, but I'm not too sure. That did three damage. That did, no, that did four damage, yeah, that did four damage, so I'm gonna go for, I'm gonna restore my health right now. Oh wait, we attack first, don't we? Yeah, we do attack first, so I could use absorb. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not fretting over this. I'm not overthinking this. Well, we have 11 potions. What? When did this happen? Did we have 10 before? I don't know because like I'm looking up at my monitor right now, and DX Tori has like the frame rate going on up there, so I couldn't see before. But I guess we had 10 potions, and not just one. That's cool. That's interesting. All right. Anyway, we're gonna go for another pound. Hopefully, we get a crit off on this pound. Come on, Gecko. Oh, uh, no crit, but we just need another pound, and that should do the trick. Maze, Torque Chick has been decimated. All right, so there we go. The opposing Torque Chick has fainted. 
Alright. And that was our first Pokemon battle. Gecko is going to grow to level 4. It's 46. What am I saying? Level 6. Alright, there we go. <laughs> I have no clue what I'm saying right now. I am so, I'm so hyped. I'm so hyped. Wow, that's great. Ace, you're pretty good. I actually, I'm doing like four different feminine voices for these female characters. I can't control the the high pitch of my voice because I, I don't know why. I just can't, I just can't keep it at like a stable pitch. Anyway, it was a good battle. Thanks. Let me heal up both our po parties real quick. Both of our parties. I mean, we both only have one Pokemon, but why not? Let's call it a party. <laughs> I mean, okay, well, one's a, one's a person, or some, I don't know what the quote is, and then two's a party or something. I, I really don't know. I'm just going to shut up now. I mean, you just got that Pokemon, and you've already got that strong of a bond. I bet you could probably befriend any kind of Pokemon you meet. Phew, I guess I'd better head back to the lab. Alright, so it seems like May is going to go back to the lab, so I believe we are actually supposed to head back to the lab as well. So let's just go ahead, do that real quick. It'll be a bit faster getting down back to uh, Little Root Town because we can just go ahead and hop on the ed ledges. Excuse me, not the edges. Well, the edges of the ledges. It's over here. Let's hurry back to Little Root. Alright, so it seems like we do, in fact, have to go back to Little Root Town. And, uh, oh, that was just the only ledge that we needed to hop over. So uh, here we are back at Little Root Town, and I believe we have to go back to the, uh, Pokemon Lab, because, uh, yeah, we do, alright. Oh, Ace, over here! Actually, I'm not too sure who says that, but, uh, whatever. So I hear you beat me on your first try, that's amazing! May has been helping me with my research for a long time, so she has a pretty long history as a trainer already. Mm-hmm, I think that settles it. Ace, I ordered this Pokedex for my research, but I think you should take it. Alright, so he ordered the Pokedex. That's weird. Where did you get that from, Professor Birch? You get it from Big Dog Oak back in Kanto? Probably. Our Pokedex is a high-tech tool that automatically makes a record of any Pokemon you meet or catch. My girl May takes hers with her everywhere she goes. Whenever she catches a rare Pokemon and records its data in the Pokedex, why, she comes to seek me out wherever I am in the field and show me. The Pokemon and people you will meet, and a great expanse of nature that lies before you. Experience them both while you fill in your Pokedex. I'd love it if your world seemed wider than ever. Though, I'd love it even more if you came back from time to time to show me what progress you've made. Arr, I'm getting the itch to get out and do field work again. Yeah, but you might get chased by, you know, I don't know, a wild zigzagoon, so you better keep it, keep it in your pants, professor. Keep it in your pants, yeah, keep your urges in your pants. You can't go out into the wild because you're just going to get chased by a wild Pokemon or something, I don't know. Oh wow, Ace, now you've got a Pokedex too. That's great, just like me. Then here, I'll give you something too. Some Pokeballs that you could use to catch wild Pokemon. And uh, May just spotted us with uh, some lovely Pokeballs because she wants to touch my Pokeballs. Just kidding. If you catch a, wild, a Pokemon in the wild and battle together with it for a while, it will grow stronger for you. Take that as a bit of advice from a more experienced trainer like me. <laughs> more experienced trainer like me. We just whooped your booty back on Route 103, and now you're telling us you're more experienced? Uh, please. I'm going to get ready to head out from Little Roots soon myself. I can't wait to see what kind of Pokemon I'm going to meet. Let's both do our best on our journeys, Ace. Alright, so... <laughs> it seems like we can actually head off on our adventure now, unless, of course, our mom has anything to say. I don't know if we're supposed to talk to our mother, but I'm just going to go ahead and talk to her because, you know, it's a it's obligatory. It's obligatory. Maybe she'll spot us up with uh, some roller skates or something. I don't know if we even get roller skates in this. You feeling okay, Ace? You look a little tired. I think you should rest a bit. All right. Thank you, Mother. Wow, you are so awesome healing sop and everything. Thank you. Now take care out there, honey. All right. So goodbye, Mother. I'm leaving you. I'm ditching you for my boy, Gecko. Oh, wow. Is this our mom? I swear if this is our mom. What the heck? I just met you. I just met you. I just met you in our house. You know, we had a talk, and you said, okay, take care now. And that that's supposed to mean we, we, we just leave. Mom, you can't do this. You have to let me go. Ace, Ace, did you introduce yourself to the Professor Birch? Oh, 
What an adorable Pokemon! You got it from the professor? How nice! You are your father's child! All right! You look good together with a Pokemon! To think that you have your very own Pokemon now, your father will be overjoyed! But don't push yourself too hard! If anything happens, you can always come home, honey! Uh, yeah, no, I'd rather just, I'd rather just ditch you and leave. Uh, I mean, I've got daddy issues. My dad isn't even staying, my dad, our dad isn't living with us. He's off training some Pokemon in the gym, so you know what? I'm gonna be the bigger man and do the exact same thing. So yeah, peace, yo. Who is it this time? Oh, it, it, it's May. Okay, we have to, we have to, we have to be kind with May because you know what? She's digging us right now, and I like it. This is from my dad. He said he... He said he forgot to give it to you before. And it seems like our Pokenav Plus has been upgraded. The Dexanav function has now been added to your Pokenav Plus. The app I just added to your Pokenav Plus is called the Dexanav. I can tell you lots about the Pokemon living in each area and that kind of stuff. It's a handy app to have if you're trying to catch lots of different Pokemon. Alright, guess it's about time I use the Dexanav to do some more Pokemon catching myself. Ace, you should use those Pokeballs I gave you earlier to do a bit of catching too. Alright, so it seems like we are going to be catching the Pokemon, and you know what I'm going to do, guys? I'm going to do I'm gonna do the catching of the Pokemon similarly to how one would do it as if they were playing a Nuzlocke. So that means we will be catching only the first Pokemon we get from each route, just to make the series a bit more interesting. But we are not going to be going by the full Nuzlocke rules, which means if uh, our Pokemon faints, we will be able to use it again. I'm just going by the Nuzlocke rules for catching the Pokemon, but Legendaries and Shiny Pokemon are the exception. So let's just go ahead and uh, dive right onto the grass and let's see what is going to be our first Pokemon. Please don't be a Wurmple. Please don't be a worm. Yeah. Oh, I am actually... I like that. I like that. I like that Puchina. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I'd love to have one of those on my team. Let's just go ahead and use an Absorb. Alright, there we go. Alright. Not bad. So, I think if I use another Absorb, it's probably going to KO that Poochina. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use a Pokeball. And I'm going to catch this guy right over here. Alright, let's do this. Okay, and, uh... Or this little girl, I should say, because the Poochina is female. And... Bada boom! We caught our first Pokemon! Yeah! Alright, so, who, what should I name this Poochina? Huh. What should I name this Poochina? I really don't know what I should name it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I think I've got a name, I think I've got a name. I think I've got a name. I'm gonna name this little, little Poochina. Um, you know what? I'm gonna name him... I don't know what I should name this Poochina. Alright, let's just read the Pokedex data. Poochina is an omnivore. It will eat anything. A distinguishing feature is how it's is how large its fangs are compared to its body. This Pokemon tries to intimidate its foes by making the hair on its tail bristle out. All right, so that's interesting. And now I believe we will actually be able to uh, nickname the Poochina. You know what? I'm gonna name this Poochina after a subscriber of mine on the second channel, on this channel actually, because I'm uploading this on this channel. Anyway. Uh, we're gonna go with, uh, let's go ahead and, uh, open up the latest episode of the Nuzlocke. Uh, alright, so there we go, and scroll, 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 what name does it land upon? Miyaki, alright, Miyaki-chan, actually, so, I'm gonna name this, I'm gonna name, I'm gonna name this Pushina Miyaki. I mean, that's feminine enough of a name, right? It sounds feminine. Miyaki, alright, there we go, I could actually name it Miyaki-chan, but I'm just gonna name it Miyaki. Just gonna keep it short. Alright, there we go. So we have caught our first Pokemon. It's a wild Poochina. Actually, uh, hold on a second. Let me just check out our party. Yeah, he or she actually is uh, not healed up. So what we can do is we can just go to the uh, Pokemon Center in uh, Old Dale Town, heal up Poochina, and we should be good to go. So, uh, yeah. How long have we been recording this episode for? It's been, wow, it's been less than 20 minutes. Alright, anyway, we're just gonna go ahead and run away from... This Wurmple. I have a feeling that maybe we should battle Wurmple instead. Maybe we should. Maybe we should have battled. I don't know. Oh, does May want another battle? Ace, over here! Oh, wait. That's not her voice. That's our mother's voice or something. I don't know. See that? Right there? There's a tail sticking out. There's a Pokemon hiding there. Okay. Uh, what? And look here. If you check your Dexnav. Alright. It looks like that Pokemon knows a pretty rare move, too. Where is our Dexnav? Ace, 
Try getting closer, real nice and slow. Push lightly on the circle pad to sneak close to a Pokemon hiding in the grass. That's what it said in the book I read. Alright, so <laughs> that looks so weird. We're tiptoeing closer and closer. You're almost there. Slowly, slowly. Remember, you press lightly on the circle pad to sneak. Alright, so let me just see. What's the Where's the Dex Nav at? This is the uh, Pokedex. It looks like a Game Boy Advance. I love it. Alright, so where is... Hold on. This is the area nav. Oh, wait. Did we just... Okay, 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 okay. Hold on. I think I got this. I think I got this. Uh, no. How do we... How do we control this thing? Oh, we just tap on here. Okay, it's a Dex Nav. And... Oh, the wild Pokemon is a Poochiena, isn't it? Yeah, it's just a Poochiena. Try moving more slowly. Oh, we have to move closer to it. All right. All right. What? It has Thunder Fang and it's level 5? Okay, you know what? Um, <laughs> uh, screw that rule that I told you guys in the beginning. We are going to battle this Poochiena and we are going to be ditching the uh, other Miyaki for Miyaki 2.0. That is what I'm talking about. Level 5 too. <laughs> is that bad? Is that bad? Am I a bad trainer for doing that? I don't know. We are going to go for a uh, Absorb on Poochiena. Let's see how much damage that does. It's probably not going to do too much. Oh, wow. It actually does a lot. Wow. Oh, that's because it was a crit. All right. That makes sense. That makes sense indeed. And Poochiena is going to go for Thunder Fang. Uh, okay. Luckily, it doesn't do too much damage. All right. Oh, well, that's because it's not very effective, of course. I knew that. I knew that. I definitely did know that. All right. So, there we go. We have <laughs> attacked... It again, and now we can go for another Pokeball. I love how I'm abandoning my first Pokemon that I ever caught for this one. You know what? Pretend you guys ever saw Miyaki. Pretend you guys ever saw Miyaki, alright? We're gonna go ahead and, uh, or pretend you guys never saw Miyaki. I guess either way it makes sense, right? I mean, I think so at least. Anyway, we're gonna go for a Pokeball here, and, uh, we should be able to catch Poochina with, uh, one Pokeball. I hope so at least, because I do not want to waste any of those. They can be, uh, you know... They come at a hefty price, especially if we're just starting out because we have very little money. All right, there we go. So we have caught Poochina. That's awesome. And uh, is that the only move that it has? Does it only have Thunder Fang? I'm not too sure. Yes, we are going to be nicknaming this Poochina as well. What, what will we call him? What will we call this Poochina? Uh, I'm going to name this guy. I'm going to name this guy Baxter. Why not? Because back in grade five, yeah, in grade five. I had a friend of mine, a really good friend of mine, actually, and uh, he got a dog for his birthday, and I used to come over to his house, or go over to his house uh, a lot back in grade 5, and uh, we used to play with his dog a lot, and uh, his name was Baxter, so I'm naming that dog after my friend's dog, Baxter. I could name it after my dog, but my pet dog that I had uh, back when I was like, I think, 7? Or, no, I was like 5, yeah, I was, I was like 5 years old. Uh, my dog's name was just Black. His name was Black. Like, literally. We were... we were, Like, it, well, in the, in the Indian language, which I speak, it sounds a bit cooler, but in English, translated to English, the dog's name was just Black. So, uh, yeah. Not much of a name, I know, but uh, it sounded a lot cooler in Hindi. So, uh, yeah, there's that. Anyway, we're going to go to the Pokemon Center. We're going to heal up our Pokemon, and we are going to... Drop Miyaki-chan into the PC. I'm sorry, guys. I really am sorry, but you know what? This way, this way, Miyaki will always be in our memories. All right, so we are going to go to uh, someone's PC, of course, deposit a Pokemon. Let's go ahead and deposit Miyaki. Uh, hold on. Do we only have... Wow, we only have Thunder Fang and Howl. How odd is that? Ability Quick Feet, and uh, we, of course, have the Rash Nature... Oh my, look at that special attack. Not bad, not bad at all. The attack stat is also pretty high for a Trico. At least I think so, anyway. We're gonna go ahead and deposit this into box one. And, uh, actually, there's something that we can do. There's something that we can do. Continue operations? Nope. I think what I'm gonna do now is, uh, I'm probably gonna end off the episode here. Uh, you know, after catching our first Pokemon, I'm gonna go ahead and save. Alright, would you like to save the game? Yes. I wonder if it gives us the option to actually leave. Uh, can I quit? Can I quit and leave? Uh, that's the options. Okay, quit. Oh, that doesn't actually take us to the main menu? Uh, would you like to save the game? Yes, of course. Saving the power. Alright. We can't quit from there. I Can you even quit a Pokemon game? Okay, you know what? This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go home. 
We're going to go home, and I'm going to manually uh, close the software, because we did save, so we should be alright. And we're going to go ahead and open it up again, because there is actually a really cool event going on right now. I believe from now till... January 14th or something like that, but it's best to you know get the get the just get the event over with as soon as possible And the event is if you have Pokemon or Mega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire before I'm gonna say before January So that's from now until the end of December That's what I'm gonna say because that's what I know for sure if you go ahead and do that then uh, you will actually be able to uh, redeem, or not redeem, you should be able to get like a uh, shiny Beldum with a Mega Stone from Mystery Gift. So I believe if we just go to the Mystery grif Gift, excuse me, not Grift, and uh, we click on Receive Gift, Communication Channel must be opened, yes, get via internet. Alright, yes, we would definitely love to continue, and it is searching for a gift. Hopefully this works, hopefully I get a freaking shiny Beldum, because that would be awesome to have a... Metagross and a Meta, me, uh, Meta, me, Mega Metagross. There we go. Uh, communication with the server stopped. What? Please, please, please do this. Maybe it's because too many people are uh, <laughs> are searching for the gift right now because you know the game has just come out. So I'm not too sure. Uh, it should work actually. I mean, it should work. I've seen people do it. Yeah, there we go. So there is the shiny Beldum for second there. For second there, my heart skipped a beat and I'm just like, what? The event can't be over. It can't be over. So it's a shiny Beldum. This Beldum is not only shiny, but it's also holding a Mega Stone just for you. All right, look at that. Ooh, shiny. I believe Mega Metagross is actually like really white and awesome. And it looks really, 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 really cool. So uh, yeah. So Shiny Beldum, thank you for receiving this distribution. Please pick your pick up your gift from the Delivery Girl in any Pokemon Center. Alright, thank you very much. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up my very own Shiny Beldum from the Pokemon Center. And uh, I wonder how we were actually going to be able to uh, transfer over Mega Glalie from the demo over to Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. I'm not too sure how that's going to be done. But uh, it's going to be a bit weird to do that for me. Because Omega Ruby... Uh, an Alpha Sapphire demo, it's on my other SD card, and I have downloaded this game to a different SD card, so I don't think I'm going to be able to do that, which is a bit of a bummer, but hopefully I can do that, like, next month or whatever, when I get, or next week, actually, when I get Omega Ruby, because right now I've just got an Alpha Sapphire, and I believe this is the delivery girl right over here. Good evening, you must be Ace. I've got a mystery gift here with your name on it. Here you are. All right, there we go, and we have received Beldum. Oh my goodness, we have our very first shiny Pokemon. In the beginning of a series, never before has this ever happened to me. I cannot, I cannot like this game any more than I am currently liking it right now. And with that being said, that is it for this episode of Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. Hope you guys all enjoyed watching this video. If you did, be sure to punch that like button in the face for me. And as always, till the next video, eat some muffins and take it easy guys. Peace. Bye. See ya.